Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to another episode of Tina Tries It. In today's episode, I'll be trying out a carbonated face bath. If you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button below to stay updated with future videos. In last week's episode of Tina Tries It, I asked you guys what product you wanted to see next and 63% of you voted for this. At that time, I had no idea what it was, but I did some research and I'm gonna tell you what it is. This is a carbonated face bath by a brand called Synapse Media Lab. It's a Japanese product designed to deliver oxygen to the skin, increasing your circulation, which helps to brighten the overall skin tone. It also claims to deep clean your pores, reduce any puffiness on the face, and remove any dead skin cells. Inside we have two packets, packet A and B. A contains malic acid, citric acid, glycolic acid. All these ingredients fall under the category of AHAs, which are alpha hydroxy acids. They help to remove dead skin cells. Packet B contains hydrogen carbonate, sodium carbonate, sea salt, and fruit extract. I've never used anything like this ever. I know there's that makeup technique where people dunk their face in water, but this is completely different. This is for skincare. This product is really popular in Japan and Korea. They sold about 50 million of these in the first launch, and this has been around for a little bit over three years. So I'm excited to try it out. I've got my bowl ready and my headband because I know, I know you guys hate it when I get my hair wet. I'm just gonna quickly fill my bowl up. Just filled it up with cold water. You can also use warm water, but I felt like if I use warm water, you probably can't see it because it'll be like all murky. I'm gonna pop my headband on. Okay, so I'm ready. The instructions on the back of this is all in Japanese. So I went online to Google the instructions and all you have to do is empty packet A into the water and then packet B. And that should make it all like fizzy and bubbly. And you're supposed to submerge your face into the water for about three to five minutes. It also recommends that you find a bowl that can fit a snorkel so you can breathe underwater, but I do not have a snorkel. So I have the next best thing, straws. But these ones don't really bend, so I'm not sure if these are gonna work. If not, I'll just like dunk my face in the water several times because I cannot hold my breath longer than like 45 seconds to a minute. I'm gonna start off with step one, empty packet A into the water. Nothing has really happened. All of it sunk to the bottom. I'm gonna put in packet B now. Ooh, it is starting to bubble a lot. Whoa. That is a lot of bubbles. I don't know why, but I'm feeling a little bit nervous. I read in some of the reviews that the bubbles popping in your face can be a little bit much and it could possibly hurt or just be like uncomfortable because all these bubbles would be bursting on your face. And um, I don't have a snorkel like I said before, so I'm going to attempt to use this straw to try to breathe underwater. I don't know if that's gonna work because there's actually no bend, but we'll try. Also, I have to mention that you're not supposed to open your mouth or your eyes when your face is in the water. Okay, I'm going in. <laughs> the straw does not work. Where is the towel? <laughs> that was total fail. Oh my god, the bubbles like shocked me. It, like went up my nose. I did not expect that. I was trying to breathe, and this does not help. Okay, so plan B. I'm just gonna dunk my face up and down a few times and manage to get a few breaths in between. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> Every time I come up for air or like I just try to breathe and let some air out, the bubbles just come up my nose and it just pops and it, it kind of feels like, you know when you burp 
after you drink um, a lot of soft drinks, that's what it feels like. <laughs> oh, it's done to like season. It's not like painful, it just it's not very pleasant. I'll do it a couple more times. I don't think it has been five minutes yet because I keep coming up for air. <laughs> it feels really hot. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna call it quits. It tastes like, just tastes like salt water, bubbling salt water. Whew. My face is a little bit red. Apparently it's normal for your face to go red because that means the circulation is building up and the blood is just getting everywhere. Once you're done bathing your face or kind of like submerging your face in this really bubbly water, the last step is to splash your face with the water and then apply your moisturizer or lotion. So I'm gonna try not to make a mess when I do this, but I'm just gonna like splash the water on my skin. I don't know if this is really doing anything. Okay, I think that's enough. Whew, feeling really refreshed. The last step you're supposed to do is apply your moisturizer. I'm gonna apply my moisturizer. This is the Ole Henriksen moisturizer. It's gonna apply it onto my skin. My skin actually feels really nice. It's not drying whatsoever. Well, hence I'm putting lotion on it, but there's no like tingly tight feeling. It doesn't feel super uncomfortable or anything. It's actually quite nice. This is what my skin looks like after the whole face bath and applying my moisturizer. It feels a lot more like softer. It does feel a little bit firm, but not like a tight feeling. Also, I noticed that my skin does look a little bit brighter and the redness has definitely gone down. My skin is just really soft, like it's just super soft. Here's a before and after photo. I'm not too sure if you guys can see a big difference, but I do definitely notice that my skin does feel softer and it has brightened up my complexion after one use. Now in saying that, apparently you're supposed to use this product a couple of months to see amazing results. I think it's like, depending on how old you are, like this is what I read on the website. If you're like in your 20s, you should use it for at least two months. If you're in your 30s, you use it for three months, so on and so on. I'm not too sure if that's very true, but I saw it on the internet. Alrighty, now it is time to rate this product. I have mixed feelings about this product. I really do like the results because my skin feels really soft after. However, I do not like the whole user experience. It's uncomfortable. I am not a fan of submerging my face into carbonated water. It's not painful, it's just really uncomfortable. And I hate it when the bubbles get up in your nose and it just bursts. That's why I don't drink a lot of soft drinks because I hate it when you burp and all that gas just comes out. That's just a feeling I don't like. But I do like that it doesn't take that long to use this. You just have to empty two packets in water and then just submerge your face in the water for five minutes. So it's pretty quick. In saying all this, I'm going to rate it a seven out of 10 because I feel like the results are there. It does work, but I don't really like the user experience side too much. Just It's just my personal preference because I just don't like bubbles up my nose. If you're thinking about trying this and you don't have super sensitive skin because I don't think this is great for sensitive skin, I would highly recommend you finding a bigger bowl that you can like, you know, dunk your head and hold your nose in that bowl or just do it in the bathroom basin. Something big enough that you can, you know, actually like protect the bubbles from going up your nose or something that you can fit like an actual snorkeling so you can breathe. Now be warned that there is a slight burning sensation as the bubbles burst and pop on your skin, but the results are pretty amazing. Your skin feels really soft after. And I just feel like some of the dry areas like around my cheeks that has like that's just gone. That's just all softened up now. Anyways, now it's time to vote for next week's episodes of Tina Tries It. Let me know which products you want to see next. This is a rose mask sheet. It's very different to a normal mask sheet because the actual like petals are the mask. So you can just place it all over your face depending on the areas that you want to, I guess, use the product on. I saw a girl use it on Instagram and I thought it looked pretty interesting. So if you want to see that, vote for this. The other products I have are these really weird Japanese face 
lifting mass thingy majiggies. I think most of these you're supposed to wear to sleep, but it's interesting to kind of just see if they actually stick on your skin and actually if you feel any difference. So this one is for your cheek. This is for like half your face. And this one is for your chin or your jawline. They're all kind of weird and wacky. And to be honest, I'm not too sure if you're gonna see results unless you wear these like every single night, but I think it's kind of funny. So if you guys wanna see me try that, please vote for these weird Japanese facelifting masks. Anyways, that's it to this episode of Tina Tries It. If you haven't already, make sure you click subscribe below to stay updated with future videos and I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye.